Welcome to Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013. Our trip to the show this year is powered by Corsair, maker of quality PC components and peripherals. Our trusted storage partner is Seagate Technology, and our trusted networking partner is Linksys. This is it, guys. Intel is finally serious business about smartphones. So they have not only Medfield on display, which is running at 1.6 gigahertz here, and is actually running at 2 gigahertz on the uh, Motorola Razr I over there, which is a very, very cool. So it's the first smartphone to run at 2 gigahertz. They are also introducing their Lexington platform, which runs at 1.2 gigahertz. Now, both of these platforms are single cores, but they both run hyper-threading technology, which means that while the processor is waiting for data from the memory, it can go do other stuff. And from the word on the street, we're hearing that it is competitive, particularly the Medfield platform, with first-generation quad-core processors in a lot of different areas, not only performance, but also in terms of battery life. Now, check this out. This guy behind me has actually been running that phone all day. It's still got about 70% battery. He's streaming over HDMI, playing a game. Well, he was playing a game until he started talking to that gentleman. So he's been playing a game at 1080p on the TV right here. That is the 1.6 gigahertz platform, which is not even the premium one. Now that lower end Lexington one is actually targeted at smartphones under $200, which is extremely exciting, especially in regions outside of North America, where things are still more developing, the economy is developing, and people are looking for a cheaper platform that doesn't necessarily compromise in terms of the functionality and the performance. Don't miss any of our CES 2013 coverage, and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. Thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013, powered by Corsair, Seagate Technology, and Linksys.